I think we all felt it today, the heat, extreme temperatures, extreme humidity. We broke a record, had a heat index at one point this afternoon at Kenner of 123 degrees. Now, we have another heat advisory in effect for tomorrow. Still under a heat advisory across most of the area, metro area, South Shore River parishes under an excessive heat warning. This is where we have seen that heat index 113 to 118 and even at times a bit greater than that. We'll probably reassess to see what the temperatures dew points are going to be for tomorrow and see if whether or not we need another excessive heat warning. Either way, it's still going to be hot during the day tomorrow, whether or not we see a warning advisory or whatever you want to call it, because the heat index tomorrow is still going to be getting above 105 to 110 or greater. Notice where we have a little bit of a drop in our heat index and temperature 83 degree uh, reading at Slidell with a temperature of 80. That is thanks to some rain had some late afternoon showers and thunderstorms bubble up across the area, but nothing around the metro area looking out toward a lot of sunshine with a temperature of 93 degrees. Now it looks like there is a thunderstorm in the vicinity of the airport at the moment, so the temperature came down slightly. Yeah, 93 is cool at the airport compared to where we had been. Feels like 103 degrees though with the dew point of 74. And as I mentioned, we broke the old record at Kenner hitting 99 degrees today. The old record being 98 and we're probably going to get close to a record again tomorrow before we finally start to see one the upper high beginning to shift a bit and as well as better rain chances not going to be torrential downpours or great deal of coverage, but enough rain that we may be able to at least moderate our temperatures a bit heading into the rest of the week and weekend. Notice almost too little too late that we started to get on a bit more cloud cover as some heavy showers and thunderstorms bubbled up across the area, some of which became almost borderline strong to severe as some outflow from some thunderstorms that were on the north shore thought maybe we would see those move south of the lake, but they weaken a little bit of activity across the Rudock Manchac area that maybe these hold together and move toward parts of Jefferson Parish and the River Parishes. But as I mentioned, Metro New Orleans, Jefferson, nothing. We have no rainfall around a heavy thunderstorm activity down along the coastline. Just kind of a matter of where these storms develop, and we are going to see some showers and thunderstorms developing over the next couple of days. In fact, it looks like by Wednesday and Thursday, I'm upping our rain chance around 40 to 50 percent as little upper disturbance that was in Oklahoma moving into Arkansas is going to move around the outer periphery of that upper high and bring us a better chance of rain. As I mentioned, the upper high is going to start to shift direction a little bit more to our north. What that is going to do is still keep us under above normal temperatures, but also the position of that high is going to allow for these other little upper features, these little tropical waves to move over and perhaps increase our rain chances by a bit. Again, not much and we'll still be under the influence of that high to keep our temperatures above normal, but also the shifting of that high should allow for some better rain chances as we continue through the week and heading into the weekend. All right, Chris, thank you. Louisiana's news.